the internet freaked out yeah. Super Bowl weekend <laughs> when news broke that you were dating Sean Evans, who hosts Hot Ones, something yeah. I literally never watched. But I guess it's people eat <laughs> hot wings and then talk about things. Yeah, yeah. So he hosts a show where they they do like wing. They have a celebrity on and they eat wings in increasingly spicy sauces. So it's like one wing is like mild, the next one's a little hotter, and by the end of it, they like can't feel their face. And that's crazy because like I grew up, not grew up. It hasn't been on that long, but like I've seen his show many times. So when he DM'd me on Insta, I thought for sure it wasn't him. So we kind of like went back and forth a little bit. And turns out he's from Chicago. I live there. Um, we met up a few times, like whatever, and totally hit it off. And mm-hmm. I was like, this is so cool to meet somebody that you've seen on the internet and they're even more wonderful in person. Right. You know, so I was excited. So um, how long did you guys date for? A couple months. A couple months. Yeah, it was a couple months. It was right around, I would say, like, Thanksgiving. And it was, like, just after Halloween, like, kind of Thanksgiving. When it, we started, like, talking, like, all the time and, like, right. meeting up. Because he uh, he comes to L.A. a lot, too. So I would be here. We So we were, like, out in public doing things quite often, mm-hmm. you know? Like, we were – so then the Super Bowl happens in January. And he's, like, do you want to come? And I didn't think – well, first I was, like, don't you want to bring, like, one of your guy friends or, like, your family or whatever? Mm-hmm. He's, like, no, I really want to bring you. I think you'd appreciate it. Because I did live in Kansas City and I'm a huge Chiefs fan. And okay. And in the Super Bowl. So I was freaking out. I was, like, I'm not going to say no. Like, are you kidding me? Um, So we went, but I – um, yeah, as far as I knew, uh, he was comfortable with my job and comfortable with being seen with me and – you know, all of that. And uh, yeah, it kind of wasn't the case. <laughs> so so essentially what happened was there was a news story that broke that said mm-hmm. that he was dating a star, of yeah. course. Um, and then was it that or was it Adam 22's tweet? No, it was that. Yeah, no, it wasn't Adam. Okay. And I, I told Adam this because I consider Adam a friend. We work together quite a bit. And I, um, and Sean knew Adam. Yeah. Like, so I'm like, oh, you know, you got to have a good sense of humor yeah. about what I do, right? Yeah. You know, and, and it's I would like, you know him, I know him. He is fun. Like, you're a-, Adam? a funny person. Oh, well, Sean. no, no, not Adam. I, Sean. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that, like, he's a great sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. He's very intelligent, very witty. And so, yeah, we had, like, fun. But it, I, yeah, I mean, I never asked him specifically if that was, like, part of the reason, but it was already on the way out before that tweet came up. So, right. It's like, whatever. So Adam says, he responds to that story and says, congratulations, Sean, her is fire. <laughs> this is a great compliment. I I, which I thought was funny. I just remember Lena's follow-up <laughs> comment. She's like, on when Valentine's your husband Day. tweets about another girl on Valentine's Day, yeah. which obviously she said with a sense of humor as well, because, yeah. you know, yeah. she's also And funny. I love Lena. Yeah, yeah, she was, I think she asked me, she's like, if I post this, just know it's a joke. And I was yeah. like, okay. Because yeah. I don't, I'm a girl's girl. I don't want any, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm not yeah. here to, yeah. So I was like, okay, whew. Like, she thought it was funny too. But. Yeah. So, and then, then like what happened after that? He okay. just like called you and was like, it's over or? Yeah. 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 Wow. It was like, I can't take it. This, this is too much heat. Uh, the the details are between me and him, right. you know, but yeah, it was just one brief phone call and that was it. And I'm totally fine with that. Cause I've said before, I don't want to be with somebody that doesn't want to be with me. Mm-hmm. Don't give me these fucking mixed signals. I'm also aware that what I do is not for everyone and you are totally within your rights to change your mind at any time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think one of the biggest problems with our new relationship was that he wanted to get to know me for me, and I loved that. Mm-hmm. I really thought this was, like, a strong connection and whatever. So when it came to what I did, I don't think he did enough research. Even though we would talk about it a little bit and I would tell him about my scenes a little bit, I don't think he knew the extent. So when other people were, like, posting my scenes and like look at how many he's taken and like all the stuff he was like whoa yeah so that's not my fault no you know what i mean you didn't do your research i i googled the hell out of you when we started dating yeah you know what i mean like i i just wanted to make sure i knew what i was getting into right um so it's just yeah i guess maybe he didn't do the same or didn't care until everybody else knew so yeah and it's i mean it is hard it's a lot of heat for someone to take Mm -hmm. and there's not a lot of guys pun about a hot one show (laughs) right you know everyone's like (laughs) come on you know but i think in this day and age two consenting adults like 
who cares? Yeah. Like I knew there would probably be some like initial flack because he does seem like such a buttoned up person. He doesn't seem like the kind of person that would date someone like me. Um, but in my head, I was like, that'll blow over. Yeah. You know, like, and it already has. So do you feel like the pub- that some of the pressure came from like his publicist or like his oh for sure like from yeah the business side not even friends a couple weeks ago it was like buzzfeed sold vice or i can't remember how the conglomerate goes but they retained like whatever so i think there was more behind the scenes that i didn't know about yeah. in terms of like big money so yeah there's some pretty crazy shit that they put in your contract sometimes mm-hmm. i was talking to somebody I won't I won't name her because I know mm-hmm. she wouldn't appreciate that. But she had signed a contract with like a big mainstream company to do a show, and like the shit that was in her contract was wild. Really? Yeah, like she couldn't be seen at certain places. Mm-hmm. She couldn't be seen with certain people. And this is someone who Fair worked enough, in you know? the world. Oh, oh, even interesting. You know, yeah. like well, I think that's what hurt me a lot in the comments and the whatever is. People were like, well, if he wanted to keep it private and you knew he wanted to keep it private, why did you post about it on IG or on Mm -hmm. Twitter? And it was like, that's not the reality of the situation. We were out in public. I had posted. I hadn't like, I never tagged him Mm -hmm. to, you know, like there was, he was just there in my pictures. And then what the main photo is us at a club together, which the photographer, the club photographer came over and was like, can I get a picture of you too? And I turned to him and I go, do you want a photo with me? And he goes, of course, you know, put star around me. We take a photo. The club photographer sends it to him. And then he sent that photo to me. And I said, can I post it? And he goes, yeah, sure. So like, what did I do wrong? Yeah. You know, and people are like, oh, you're just that typical girl trying to like get some clout, whatever. And I go, well, that was the person I was dating and I was proud of him. And I thought he was proud of me. Yeah. Shoot me. You know? And it sucks, too, that you even have to ask him those questions. But I did that because I was sensitive towards his career, right. knowing that he interacted but with celebrities and stuff. It does that suck. you are put in that position. It does, but, like, I Not made, from I made him. the bed of I'm being in porn. Right. I know the stigma that comes yeah, with yeah, yeah. it, and it's never going to go away. Right. So that that didn't even bother me. But I, I agree. Yeah, does it suck? Sure. But it's my reality, so right. whatever. I just mean that on, like, a bigger level, not him. Yeah. I'm just talking about society in general. Oh, yeah. And, like, the stigma that, that comes yeah. about with that in yeah. general. So I mean, work in general. Even it's... my husband, who I've been with for over seven years, mm-hmm. um, who's not a celebrity, mm-hmm. but he works in law, I'm like, mm-hmm. very prestigious, like, firm and stuff. Yeah. Like, I can't say his name. Yeah. Because I don't want pe- – because he's a very unique name mm-hmm. and I don't want people to find him because I've had, like, weird people, like, threaten to, like – Oh, all the time. You know, all this crazy – Yeah. And there was even a point that I was dealing with this weird kind of stalker guy who was – and I had to, like, delete all of our photos together mm-hmm. on Instagram, which, like, mm-hmm. broke my heart. It was kind of, like, earlier in our relationship because yeah. I, like, loved him and I was proud of him and this is someone I wanted to spend the rest of my life mm-hmm. with. And I was like, I can't, like – Nope. I can't like associate you yeah. in my life. Like that sucks. And even right. now, like I do post pictures of him on Instagram, but very rarely. And then we have a daughter, which I never post on yeah. uh, my public Instagram ever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, even like I have to hide that part of right. my life. Just to protect your family. And yeah. I remember like when when this hit like TMZ, when it went started to go a little viral, I called my parents and I was like, if anybody asks you about this, just tell them you don't know me. You know, like just don't say anything. Tell him you don't know me. Tell him you don't have a daughter. I don't know. Because I really, I don't want my family to feel any type of brunt for the choices that I've made. Yeah. I just don't think that's fair. Yeah. Um, and so I think that's the hard part too when people were like digging up my personal details and my background and like sending it to my family and, and DMing it to my friends and, you know, and I'm just like, for what? For what? Like, you yeah. think that's going to ruin my life? I already know the choice that I've made and what I'm doing. Yeah. You know? And my parents know. Yeah. Like, what are you trying to do? Out me? Like, yeah. I'm a grown woman. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. 
But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.